All right, so today we're going to be looking at the top three creature mods in Subnautica, in my opinion. The reason we only have to a top three list is because I could not find that many creature mods to look at because there's not that many on the Nexus website. I'm not using any legacy mods, so like Gargantua and Leviathan, all that stuff, I'm not using. That's why it's not on this list. With that being said, let's get on to our number three spot. All right, so coming in at number three on today's list, we have the Silence mod, which adds a new Leviathan and a new small fish into the game. So we have, we're looking at the new Leviathan right now. This is the Silence Leviathan. And then we also have the Void Boomerangs. I'll show you after we get done looking at this guy right here, because this is the main highlight of this mod. So this Leviathan is only found in the new Void biome that this mod adds to the game. It's like a little bit further out. It's like a little small set of islands that you can find. And in that, not in that, but around that set of islands, you'll find the Silence Leviathan. Now the Silence Leviathan has a pretty distinct look with this giant little horn on its forehead. It almost looks like it's a bone. It was like part of its bone that just kind of like just stuck out from its skin. And then underneath, we can see that his actual rib cage is showing, so that's cool as who. Got plenty, plenty of little glowing bits. He's got some nice little fans back here. Well, these fans aren't little, but you know what I mean. He's got some crystal, like crystalline formations on his back, almost like there's a bunch of spikes on his back. And he's got a really, really, really long tail. Ignore my body right there. That gets thinner and thinner as you get near the, you know, at the end, as a tail normally would. And that tail also has a bunch of these crystal things on the back and these super big blue fins that are all over its body. So unlike any other modded Leviathan that I know of, this is the only one that has the ability to turn itself invisible, essentially, and cloak itself when it's, you know, sort of like coming towards you, hunting you, etc. Making it extremely harder to see, especially since you're only going to find it in the void. So when it cloaks itself, it's basically going to be, it's basically going to be pitch black and you're not going to be able to see it from the moment it cloaks until it like reappears. And it also has another ability where it'll, it also has another ability to where it'll essentially drown out all the sound that's around you. And all you can really hear is your heartbeat and, you know, it whenever it starts roaring. But I'll show you both of those abilities in a second here, whenever we start this, but we'll see. He's also pretty fast and there he goes. Yep, that's that's his cloaking ability that I was talking about. So he's just completely invisible. You can barely see his body aside from like the blue highlights. I need him to, okay, there it is. You hear my heartbeat and we can barely hear the other sounds around us. Aside from these reef facts right here, you can still hear like your tools and stuff. Like, oh my gosh. But you can hear that there's no like ambient noise. And he sort of like stays locked onto you whenever he's got you. He's kind of just like right on me. I don't know what he's got going. It like drowns out all the ambient noise and music around the area. Oh my gosh, that was loud. So you can only really hear his heartbeat and you know, the sounds of your tools or vehicles or whatever else. All right, and this is the other new fish that this mod adds to the game. We have these little void boomerangs that are swimming around all over the place. It's essentially just a regular boomerang, but it does look a little bit different. And you can only find this one in the void, the new part of the void that this mod adds to the game. So yeah, void boomerang, it's got a nice little, you know, we can see, actually this is perfect because you can see the side by side right here. And this little like ringing part, this little ring part right here that I'm looking at, I don't really know how to describe it. But, you know, this part is glowing and on the regular boomerang, it is not glowing. So there's that. And its eyes are also glowing. And then the bigger difference is the fact that its entire color, you know, like the color of the entire fish has changed. But yeah, that was the silence mod coming in at number three on today's list. And with that, we can move on to our next spot. And yeah, what did I just say? We can move on to our next mod at number two. All right, so the next mod that we're going to be looking at is going to be the Bloop and Blaza Leviathan mod, which adds two new, well, technically three new Leviathans into the game. You have the regular Bloop Leviathan. You have the deep Bloop Leviathan and then the Blaza Leviathan. So this is the Bloop Leviathan, which is a another pretty unique Leviathan as far as like modded Leviathans go, because this one cannot actually bite you, but instead he uses his mouth to just swallow you whole. So if you're driving around in your sea moth or something, because the sea moth is small enough, it can get swallowed whole by his mouth. You can get swallowed whole by his mouth, obviously. I don't think he can swallow the Cyclops though, but anything small enough to fit in his mouth, you know, if it fit, if you can fit in his mouth, you will be insta-killed. He has four glowing eyes on the front of his face, and these eyes do illuminate the floor. Like if he was to look at the floor, the sea floor down there, it would illuminate, so that's cool too. Got these big old fins back here that are almost like a, like a pearlescent color, because they sort of like change depending on the angle you're looking at them, so that's cool. Because yeah, we can see it's like blue right here. And then if we go around to the other side, it turns into like a different color. So that's a really nice little feature. It's overall a really, really fat and chunky Leviathan that gets added into the game. And these are found in the, you know, like regular surface biomes. Now there is a different variant of the Blue Leviathan. All right, so we looked at the regular Blue Leviathan already, but this is the deep Blue Leviathan, which is, you know, as you would imagine, found only in the deeper biomes. And he is like four, three, four times the size of the regular one. So if we look at his mouth, we can see he's got like 
What is that? Like, he's got like an extra mouth in here, I think. He's got two extra mouths in here compared to the regular one. So a lot more teeth. He's got an extra mouth. His eyes are blue and his body is also like dark blue. I guess that wasn't the right word I was looking for, but their fins are like see-through. That's cool. But we can see he's way, way longer and just larger in general than the regular blue leviathan. Although right here, it does look like he's a little bit like stretched, like the, the model itself is like a little more stretched out right here. So, you know, there's that, I guess, if you care about that. But it's essentially just a way, way bigger version of the regular Blue Leviathan, and you'll only find it in the deeper parts, deeper biomes, like the, um, what's one you can find? I'm pretty sure you can find this in the Grand Reef. All right, so here we have the Blaza Leviathan, which is essentially like a giant snake. You can only find this Leviathan in the cave biomes of Zenodica, so you'll only see him, you know, like slithering past you when you're in, like, the Jelly Shroom Caves, Lost River, etc. He almost looks like he's blind, considering the way his eyeball looks, you know, because it's kind of, like, foggy and stuff, which is typically how a blind person's eye looks. But, you know, we can never know. He's got some weird looking teeth, I will say. There's a bunch of big old gaps right here. I wonder why that's the case. Skin looks super, <laughs> super raggedy and tough, almost. Almost like he's got like an armored carapace over his entire body. I and mean, he does, he, I forgot he does that little like twisting, bendy thingy with his entire body whenever he's swimming around. Let's actually watch him do that. Look at that. And the back of his tail is kind of like sharp. Hello, sir, I need you to grab me. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Like the whole vehicle sort of like goes in his mouth. But yeah, this is the Bloop and Blaza Leviathan mod. And with that, we can head on to our number one spot, in my opinion, for the best creature mod in Subnautica. All right, so coming in at number one for the best creature mod in Subnautica, in my opinion, we have the de-extinction creature mod, which adds, what, what did I just say? Which adds 19 new creatures all throughout Subnautica, both small and large. So it adds a bunch of smaller creatures like the one I'm looking at right here. One of, like an example of one of the smaller fish this mod adds to the game. And then we have an example of one of the more medium-sized creatures. It's also, it's also got a really generous mix of creatures that are both aggressive and peaceful. This is one of the, this is an example of a relatively peaceful creature. He kind of just swims around, looks super awesome, and doesn't do anything to bother anyone. Okay, never mind, I lied. So that little, um, so that tiny little gas that we just saw this creature let off, um, that can actually damage you if you go into it, because I have covered this mod before, and I do remember that. I don't know how I forgot that just now. But he looks super cool, but keep your distance, because he does have, like, a little farting attack that he'll do if you do get too close. So this is an example of one of the larger creatures that this mod adds into the game. So we have the Stellar Thalassians here, which there are two of these. There are two types of these Thalassians. There's these ones right here, which you can find sort of just like swimming around slowly around the, you know, surface biomes and whatnot. And then you have the Jasper Thalassians, which you'll only find in the deeper caves like the Lost River and stuff. These are basically like the reef. Whoa, that was loud. These are like the reef backs. Oh, speaking of reef backs, there's one right there. These are like the reef backs of this mod, because this mod adds a bunch of new creatures that were either cut or deleted, or just simply did not make the in game for Subnautica. Well, yeah, this is the Stellar Thalassian. That is the Pyram Basis. I believe that's how you pronounce that. The medium sized one I showed you earlier, and I don't know what the small one is called, but the last one I wanted to look at and show y'all is the Leviathan that this mod adds into the game, because that's pretty awesome as well. And this is the Leviathan that this mod adds into the game, so this is called the Gopher Leviathan. Now this Leviathan, you know, t as the name entails, he has a really large mouth, and will gulp up anything that he goes near, and his death animation that plays whenever, like, he eats you and stuff is him essentially swallowing you whole. Now, he looks really awesome because he has these big old two giant, like, I don't even know what you would call these. These look like fingers, if I'm being completely honest. But I guess those are his teeth. He's got nice little glowing eyes, some lights, and then he also has these, like, tattoos, I would like to say, like, all over his body. I know they're probably not tattoos, but I'm gonna call them tattoos because that makes it look makes it look and sound super awesome. He's got these big old spine slash fin on his back that looks super cool as well. And also a little neat tail about, a neat tail, what was that? <laughs> a neat detail about his mouth is if you look on the inside, you can see that there is a bunch of tiny, tiny little teeth, like mini teeth all on the inside of his mouth. So that's super cool as well. Nice little attention to detail there. You'll be able to find this Leviathan in multiple different biomes all throughout the game. I know you can find it underneath the floating islands. You can find it in the underwater islands, the Grand Reef, and I think there's more, but those are like the only three that sort of like bounced off the top of my head. But you can also find a Gopher Leviathan egg that you can hatch and you can sort of like have like a little baby go damn, a little baby Gopher Leviathan, sort of like a cuttlefish. But the Gopher Leviathan egg is a little bit rare and a bit a bit harder to find. So just keep that in mind, whatever you do, you know, if you do decide to do an uh my gosh, I can't speak. If you do decide to look for that. Now obviously I didn't show all the creatures that this mod adds to the game because you know it's 19 different creatures. 
So that's a lot of different creatures that you can, that'll be added to your Sonata game. And all those creatures have unique sounds, different behaviors, spawn locations. You know, you'll essentially, essentially every single bomb you go in, I think for the exception of the crash zone, you'll be able to find a new creature from the de-extinction mod. I don't think there's any other mod available right now that's open to everybody that adds like this high quality of stuff and this amount of stuff, you know, all throughout your game. Because any other, I think any other mods that do that, you know, they're either like locked behind like a Patreon or something, which is, you know, 100% fine, obviously, because you know, you want to get funded for your stuff. But I'm just saying like, this is one of the best free options, especially for the quality and the amount of stuff that gets added into your game. Gives you a whole, whole new experience for your Subnautica game. Hence why it made it at the number one spot, in my opinion, for the best creature mod in Subnautica, since it adds a ton of new creatures. They're all pretty diverse. There's a bunch of aggressive ones, a bunch of passive ones, a bunch of ones that you can eat, etc. But yeah, with that, that is about all I have for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you agreed or disagreed with my list, feel free to let me know in the comments below. If there's a mod that I maybe have missed, you know, that's super awesome, worth mentioning, that isn't a legacy mod, do let me know as well, you know, so I can look at that. And we can talk about that in the comments as well because, you know, I like having conversations in the comments. But other than that, that is about all I have for y'all. Thank you for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.